Dear students, in today's module, we will discuss about control structures, the if statement. So we have learned in the previous modules that whatever we write in the imperative programming language as we have written on C++ online compiler. So one statement is executed after the previous statement and the next statement and the next statement. So we have written four statements in the previous module. So the first statement was executed first and then the second, third and fourth. So what if you want to not execute some statement or if you want to say that this statement should be executed if a particular condition is fulfilled. So for example, we have four statements, welcome to ITP course, welcome to virtual university and then for example, if your previous marks are more than 50, then we want to say that you are pass and then we want to say bye bye. So the third statement we want to only execute when your marks are greater than 50. Otherwise we do not want to display this statement. So we will learn this using the online compiler as well and I will also show you this in writing as well. So for example we want to say see out hello to ITP see out hello to virtual university and then I want to display see out you are passed but I want to display this information when your marks are greater than or equal to 50. So I need to write here the if statement if marks are greater than or equal to 50 then show this statement and then we want to say see out bye bye. So, this statement is coupled with this condition and let's do it practically as well on the C++ compiler that when we write this statement you are passed if the marks will be greater than or equal to 50 then this statement will be shown otherwise this statement will not be shown. So, we have this compiler we have int marks is assigned by 51 and then for example we want to say c out hello to ITP then we want to say hello to virtual university and then if marks are greater than or equal to 50 we want to say see out you are passed and then we want to say bye bye. So what do you think what would be the output of this program? I am putting over here something which we are not discussing at the moment. If we put backslash n after every line then the next statement will be shown in the next line. So what are you expecting? When we will run this program we will be shown hello to ITP, hello to VU 
and then this statement will be shown if the marks are greater than or equal to 50. And yes, the marks are greater than or equal to 50, which is 51. So 51 is greater than or equal to 50. The condition is true. Then this statement will be shown as well. And the last statement by by is not coupled with the if statement. This will be shown whether the if is true or if is false. So let's try to execute this program. So we have hello to ITP, hello to VU, you are passed and bye bye. So let's change the marks to something less than 50. So now this statement will be shown, this statement will be shown, but this statement will not be shown as 40 is greater than or equal to 50 is the wrong statement. So let's try to execute. So hello to ITP, hello to VU, but you are passed, this, this statement was not shown as it has been controlled by a control structure known as if statement. And the last statement has been shown as I have explained that this statement is not coupled with the if statement. If you want to couple this with the if statement, then you can write curly brackets over here. So now, if this statement is false, then both of these statements will not be shown. Yes, so the statement was false. So both of the statements were not shown as now both of the statements are coupled with the if statement using the curly brackets. So we have learned about the pass fail example using control structure, the if statement. And we have seen that the flow of the program can be controlled using the if statement. So whatever you do not want to execute by using certain conditions. So that statement can be coupled with the if statement and if the if statement is correct, then that preceding statement will be executed. And if the if statement is incorrect, then the preceding statement or set of statements will not be executed.